Hey everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth from Above Ruby Studio and LifeAboveRubies.com. I apologize for a little bit more of a whispered tone. Grady just fell asleep and I wanted to pop on and do a quick little bonus video on Pick Monkey for you guys. A little bit of a behind the scenes, if you will, of how to in Pick Monkey. Um, I'm doing some vinyl projects around my house right now and there is one particular that I wanted to do. So I thought I would show you how I use Pick Monkey and Cricut Design Space together to create the project that I am looking to um, create essentially. I wanted to do the verse Luke 7 47 and it says therefore I tell you her sins which are many are forgiven for she loved much but he who is forgiven little loves little and I just felt like it was such a great reminder a personal reminder and I really wanted it for in my bedroom at my house so I thought I would show you just in this quick little overview video and again, we are continuing to dive deeper into how to use PicMonkey, a complete creative workshop series at lifeaboverubies.com. But I'm just going to continue to show you a little bit by bit what's going on and how I'm going to create with it um, to use in Cricut Design Space because I know I had several questions on how I do that. So let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a design. We're going to hover over design and we're going to do a blank canvas. Now I'm able to choose a custom size canvas or any any size that I can possibly imagine. I'm going to do a Facebook cover because that's going to be closest representation, a closest representation um, uh, proportion wise length to height for the actual sign that I'm planning on creating. So um, I'm just going to leave it a white background for now, but we might switch it to a transparent canvas at the end, but we're just going to start with a plain white background. All right, so I'm going to apply that. I'm going to leave the size the same. And what I'm actually going to do is come over to the Bible verse and I'm actually going to copy it. So I'm just going to highlight it and I'm just going to do a copy. Hopefully you know how to do that. Um, and then I'm going to bring it over into PicMonkey and I'm going to go to text, this little capital T lowercase t is for your text. I'm just going to do an add text and I'm going to just copy and paste the whole thing in before I mess with any of, this is just my process. I know everybody's going to do it a little bit differently, but I'm just showing you my process, how I do it. Um, I just copy the whole thing in. So I have exactly what I'm working with there in front of me. And I'm going to get rid of um, those dashes. And I'm actually going to, I know I want the word forgiven to be in a different font and centered, and then everything else is going to be around it. So I'm actually going to remove the word forgiven, but I need to remember to put it back in. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go look for a little bit of inspiration. So a lot of times when I'm doing something like this, I try to like look at maybe something somebody else has done, um, that I like, or, you know, whatever. But I actually, and I will tell you, I have looked before and there haven't really been any that I'm in, I've been like in love with. Like this one's pretty, but it's a lot more, um, portrait style than landscape. And I like the concept though. So I'm going to kind of go with that, but it's not really laid out how I want it to be. So I've looked through, I haven't really seen any before. Doesn't mean there aren't any that don't exist, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. So it's good to do that from time to time, just to get some ideas if you don't already know what you want to do. I know I'm going to cut it out with my Cricut. So I know that I want the font, the base font, even though I want it to be black, I want it to be um, kind of bold so that it cuts well, but I don't want it to be like block letters. You know what I mean? So um, I think that I'm going to go with, oh, I'm going to go through some of the text, but I think I'm actually planning, that's kind of pretty. I'd like to go with the text that are the font that I use a lot, which is this Hofler, Hofler text. I do like this. So I'm going to use that, I think, for this part. And then I know also that I want to do Forgiven in like a scripty font. So I'm going to just move this over here. I know this is a little bit like confusing. Like, what is she doing? But I just thought, again, um, the best way to do this is just to kind of see my process and that hopefully you'll learn from just the process behind the scenes that it's not, this isn't a formal tutorial, but the process behind the scenes. Therefore, I tell you her sins, which are many are forgiven for she loved much. Okay. So I know I need the space in between there. Um, I know I need a period at the end and I'm probably going to add in the Luke, um, 747. So I'm thinking of leaving this left aligned, but I want the font to be quite a bit larger and I'm going to fill up this entire, um, block 
from end to end as closely as I can. So if I can go just a little bit bigger, maybe like a size 66 with my font. Let's, let's see, can I stretch it just a little bit more? Um, so you can like stretch and pull and these little dots I kind of use to align um, how I want to do things. So you can kind of really get all the control that you want in PicMonkey that way. So that really fills up this space well. And remember, I'm cutting this out in vinyl, so I'm not completely concerned with how it fits in this box. I'm using it as reference more than anything else. There may be too many spaces in between here as well. Um, we're going to have to see once we add forgiven. But we're going to start with that. Therefore, I tell you, her sins, which are many, are, and then it's going to say forgiven, for she loved much, period. But he who is forgiven little, comma, loves little. Okay, perfect. So I want to do, I'm thinking maybe Scriptina or maybe this wind song. These are fonts that are in PicMonkey themselves. And again, I have a PicMonkey affiliate link if you're interested in using that. If not, again, no worries. Um to get all the additional effects and the royal fonts and all that good stuff. Okay, so now I know I want this word centered, so I'm gonna go ahead and center align it. And I'm gonna stretch it all the way across so that that center line is centered with my canvas, if you will. So that's pretty much like that's the center of this particular thing. But forgiven is spelled without an E, I just typed in an E there silly me. I don't know how I did that, but forgiven. So you want to check your spelling. Um, I'm going to make this pretty large and I'm going to change the color of it right off the bat because this is going to go like in the background and on the actual vinyl, I'm going to cut them in two different colors as well. So I'm just going to kind of position this even though it's in the middle, like kind of in the middle here as well. So I might have to move the fonts. Now a tricky thing with PicMonkey is actually selecting, making sure you're selecting the layer that you want. You can see as I clicked on there, uh, because that layer is so big, it's that whole entire box, you have to be very specific in what you're selecting. So just as a little like word of warning here. So we're going to move this up so that it fits in the canvas. We don't want it cut off. But then we have to select the background. So what I'm actually going to do is select this again, and I'm going to click on it, and it's going to show um, the layers. I'm going to actually send it to the back. It's going to be behind the letters anyway, and I'm going to actually separate it in the Cricut, and I'm going to show you that in a minute too. So I need to move this up a little bit, and I think actually that's pretty good. Okay, now I can play with this a little bit more, but I'm kind of liking it just as it is. Um, I feel like that's pretty good. So once you get it kind of how you want it to be, then you can go over to your basic effects and then the canvas color and you can make it a transparent, which just to make it a lot easier for uploading it into Cricut Design Space, okay? So we'll keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna apply that and I'm just going to save it as a PNG, it's just the easiest. Uh, oh, I forgot to add Luke 747 though. So we're actually gonna go back to add in Luke 747. And I might just do an Arial font for that, just a very basic block, because um, I'm gonna do it pretty small. So if I'm gonna do it small, keeping in mind it's for vinyl, how that actually plays with the vinyl. And then I'm gonna have to position it with the vinyl, but something like that. I think the proportions look good, and I can, again, play with it in my Cricut Design Space, but I kind of really do my best to lay out as much as I can here, because I don't wanna to do too much manipulating in Cricut Design Space. Now, I know many people would just go into Cricut Design Space. You can access the same fonts. You can do different things. I just like the editing power of PicMonkey personally for this, because if I want it to add other shapes and other overlays that the Cricut now allows me to do, say I wanted to add this heart, but I didn't have this heart in a Cricut cartridge or I didn't have it in something else, I could, I can upload this and it'll cut this as well. So I'm actually, I'm gonna show you just so you get the full effect. I'm gonna make the inside of it transparent because I just wanna cut out the outside loop. And we'll just do this for example sake, all right? And let's see, we want to do an, let's say we want to do an arrow. 
I could add my own overlay even if I wanted to add ah, I hate that all that there is there if I wanted to add the life above Ruby's arrow the arrow that we use in the logo for example I could do a really big one that maybe would fit with the actual text I'm working with you know and I could I could do um, you can actually duplicate the overlay so if you right click on it you can duplicate the overlay and then with that overlay you can switch which direction it goes to make it really fit where you want it to fit and how you want it to fit in the size you want it to fit in all right so I know I'm not gonna lay that on my design but to maximize my canvas space or the use of my the use of my vinyl I could do this kind of thing too so I could make these all the same color you know kind of just really play with it however now I know I'm going I, I take it back because I'm going to have to move forgiven otherwise it would cut it like weld melded together welded together and I don't want to do that so let's see let's send this to back Let's grab this forgiven for a minute here. We got the idea of what we want it to be. Now what we're going to do actually is keep all the sizes the same. That is what we're going to do. Yes, we're gonna keep all the sizes the same. We have the proportions the way we want it to be. I'm gonna move this here. Oh no, hold on. Okay, so to undo, just click this little this little guy here undoes bad sizing or if you grab the wrong thing or whatever the case may be. All right. So now we have all these good, good little things. I'm not going to do the heart. I'm just going to save this as Luke 747. I'm going to save it as a PNG. I'm going to come over to my Cricut and I'm going to do a new project. This is an untitled project, so it doesn't really matter, but we're going to upload an image here. And it does allow you to do a PNG or an SVG or whatever the case may be. It did. Okay, so we're gonna open that. And then it'll tell you when you go to upload it um, to convert your single layer image. Does it already have a transparent background? Yes, it does. This makes it really, really easy, okay? And you can then preview it. It will show you what it looks like for a cut. They're very straightforward, very basic. Love it. Perfect. We can continue. There it is. Okay. And we're doing it. We're saving it as a print and cut. Okay. Which we're not going to print it. We're just going to cut it. Um, Bible verse. Luke 747. Forgiven. Decor. Okay. So, oh, and then there's arrows too. Arrows. Okay, so this makes it the easiest for me in print and cut mode here. Okay, so this is sort of how I I do it. Everything is proportioned. Now I can really size and adjust how far across do I really want this to go? How big do I really want this to be? And I know my proportions will stay the same as they were in the design. And that's what I like most about using PicMonkey with uh, this kind of thing because now I know like, hey, if I want it to be 18 inches across, I know my proportions are staying the same as to how I designed it initially over here. Obviously, I reorganized it to optimize mat space and also to optimize or to make sure that I didn't have any welding or merging because it does bring the whole thing over. All right, so that's how I'm pretty much going to do it. Now, if I wanted to, I could do it in a different color or I could bring just the word forgiven over okay so say like I do want to do forgiven in a different color the way I go about doing that and again this is just me uh, keep it the same size leave it there and then just save the word forgiven okay we'll do the same exact process it stays there you come over you upload a new image um, grab it browse it should be in here as forgiven is open it again it's a simple image we don't have to go through and make the, the background transparent we already did that in PicMonkey, so we can just select simple 
we can continue again make it a save as print and cut so that it does so that it does allow me to cut it out with my Cricut easily and then just grab that word which is I love this font and then what we can do here is make sure that we size it to pretty much match what we already did all right so we just make sure it lines up and then you can change the color of just that word okay so that when you go to cut it out with your with your Cricut it'll do it on two separate mats so it does the forgiven in purple and it does everything else in black all right, so that's pretty much how I use PicMonkey to design in Cricut Design Space and to do different fun things. So hopefully it gives you a little bit more of a closer look at PicMonkey. Again, we're diving in deeper at lifeaboverubies.com. If you're really interested in learning and creating it as part of this creative workshop, I highly encourage you to come on over and join us. Membership is currently open to be a Ruby, but it will be closing early in the new year as we focus on the Rubies that are there. And it's super exciting. So thank you so much for being a part of this video. Leave your comments and your feedback, and I'll see you again soon at Above Ruby's studio and lifeaboverubies.com. Have an awesome, amazing night. Bye.